I understand we have Jesse Knutson out live. Okay, Jesse, what's going on where you are? Well, we're off Long Hollow Pike out here in the Gallatin area, right next to the Douglas Clark House. But I want to show it to you right over there. This is the parking lot for the Douglas Clark House and also for the Station Camp Greenway. Obviously, it is filled. You can see the raging river over there. If you look at the Greenway little sign over there, you can see it. There's a sign on the right side of that post that's normally about chest height. So that tells you how incredibly high the waters have come out here. Plenty of people out here looking around, looking at all the flood waters, taking pictures. Luckily, it doesn't seem like anybody has gotten in trouble out here. No cars in the water, no cars in this parking lot, and luckily no people in the water that we can see out here. But definitely a sight to behold. Normally, this whole entire area doesn't have any water in it. It's just a little creek, little river, and obviously the greenway right up there. But there is a big flood and obviously the raging river up there. Um, nobody definitely wants to get into this water because it will just sweep you away, even if it doesn't look like it is uh, very deep. Now, if you take a look at the other side of the road here, Long Hollow right here, all of this area is over flooded. That is normally just grass, kind of farmland, that sort of thing. But now has become a wide river. It looks like it's almost as wide as the Cumberland River. So it's a pretty amazing sight to see up here. We've seen a lot of emergency vehicles driving by, heading out to separate places, going to help people and assist with calls. But you can see some areas it doesn't look like the water's going very fast. Other areas it looks like it's going very fast. So it just depends on where you are. But all these waters are dangerous. They're ones that you should avoid. Definitely don't go out in them. Be safe. Watch from a distance like the people who are doing on the other side of the Douglas Clark house over here. But uh, let's just show you that river again. You can see it's going very strong over there. We've actually seen some critters that have been going around, squirrels, things like that, trying to get out of this area. I'm sure that they have little... Um, little nests in those trees, birds out there, but there is plenty of flooding out here. It's hard to tell exactly how deep it is, but it's definitely, due to the sign over there, definitely feet, at least three feet over at the Station Camp Greenway sign. Luckily, it did not get up to Douglas Clark House out here in Sumner County. We're in the Gallatin area. Uh, but, you know, we have been driving around. We did come from, uh, from the west a little bit, and luckily there wasn't way too much flooding to the west of us that we could see. A lot of that water has come down, but we did see a lot of the roadways were wet, had debris on them, so obviously there was flooding out more towards Millersville a little bit earlier today. But as Leland said a little bit earlier, luckily the rain has stopped, so the water should start to uh, recede a little bit, but out here it is still flooding. There's still plenty of water out here, and some roadways are blocked, so you want to avoid those if you can. And actually down here there are some bubbles coming out of the water right here, so maybe there's a drain down there, maybe the water's just starting to recede so that people can actually go back to doing their normal things today, but it looks like a lot of people skipped work because of all the flooding, or maybe our home just making sure their homes are all right but uh you know we're gonna keep on looking around out here keep on looking for areas that are flooded uh because we have gotten a lot of reports of different things going on in the area but as of right now this is one of the most flooded areas we've seen it's just lucky that the homes in the area are on elevated ground that helps out the area a lot but guys we're going to keep on looking around looking for flooding and see what we can find and bring to you but for now i'm going to send back to you guys in the studio